Hey, welcome to From the Floor. From the Floor is a video series where I cover the arcade machines, past and present, at the Twincade Arcade Bar here in Griffith, Indiana. Today we're going to take a look at Double Dragon. Our friend Dan, who you may know from the Rebel Gaming Club, is joining me today as a guest to give his memories of the game from way back in the day. And I'm going to show you my actual Double Dragon cabinet and give the clinical details and make sure you're familiar with the game. Double Dragon was developed by Technos Japan and was distributed in the US by Taito and began forming lines in the arcade in 1987. It's a granddaddy of the beat-em-up genre and is today's subject on From the Floor. Double Dragon wasn't the first side-scrolling game ever made, and it wasn't the first fighting game either. However, never before have the two been combined so perfectly, solidifying the video game world with a brand new genre, the beat-em-up. With its two-player co-op mode, ability to interact and use items as weapons, and constant influx of enemies, it quickly became the granddaddy of the genre. This is my Double Dragon arcade machine. My Double Dragon, unfortunately, is not the original cabinet, but this is totally common with old arcade machines. Operators would buy kits to convert non-performing games into high-converting games with the switch of a board, a bezel, and a control panel. In fact, in 1985, arcade manufacturers got together and created a universal game board standard called JAMA, which helped make this practice even more popular. My Double Dragon cabinet is also a bit rough and torn, but like a good old car, it takes a beating every day and keeps on running. And this game gets lots of play and lots of abuse here at Twincade, with people mashing the hell out of the buttons while kicking ass and having a great time. The cabinet is a two-player config, each with an eight-way joystick and three buttons for punch, kick, and jump. The wonderfully 80s feeling Double Dragon introduces us to the main characters, brothers Billy and Jimmy Lee, also known as Hammer and Spike in US promotional materials and on the arcade machine control panel right before a truly despicable act sends the events of the game in motion. A member of the evil Black Warriors punches Billy's girlfriend, Marion, in the stomach and kidnaps her. Thankfully, the brothers happen to be masters of Soi Setsu Ken Arts, which is a fictional martial arts style made up for the game. So they must now set off on a quest through the New York City underworld to save her. Double Dragon's graphics were quite impressive for a 1987 release. A variety of settings from dense forests to gritty slums to secret hideouts are all rendered beautifully with convincing atmospheres for the player to deal with within each scene. While the characters do look a bit cartoonish, this allowed for fairly violent on-screen depictions. Did I mention the game opens with a woman getting punched in the stomach? The music of Double Dragon is truly excellent. The title screen and first mission might have some of the greatest and most memorable video game music ever created. And the soundtrack in its entirety keeps you wanting to 80s movie fight your way all the way to the end. On top of the all-time classic music, we also get top-notch sound effects that sound awesome blasting from an arcade cabinet. Each punch, kick, and crack of the bat lands beautifully, and enemies are satisfyingly vocal about it. In a world of simple punch-jump fighting games, gameplay is where Double Dragon truly sets itself apart. Of course you have your basic punch, kick, and jump buttons to start out with, and they look really great during on-screen fights. However, eventually you learn the button combinations to perform special moves like throws, jump kicks, back kicks, flying elbows, and more. No longer are you just punching the next guy and the next guy. Now you are strategizing during the fight and choosing different moves to do on different people. This may be lost on the current generation, but this was really cool at the time. Double Dragon for the arcade is a true video game classic in every sense of the word. Its replayability is extremely high for any number of reasons, not to mention an exciting conclusion in two-player mode that will leave you guessing who your friends are. If all you ever played was the ported console version, do yourself a favor and get yourself to an arcade to check out one of the greatest beat-em-up games ever made. This is Dan from the Rebel Gaming Club. Hey guys, Phil asked me to share some memories on Double Dragon and I'm gonna do that for you right now. We had a bowling alley that also had an arcade in it called Astro Bowl. 
Every weekend, me and my best friend, we would collect cans during the week and we'd go on the weekends and, you know, spend two to five dollars, whatever we could collect cans worth. But there was this one time, my mom was a waitress. She'd work late at night, so she'd get home at midnight, one o'clock in the morning. I decided it was a Saturday morning to slip into the bedroom. There I was, guys. I'm 10 years old, it's eight in the morning. On a Saturday morning, my mom had just worked the night before. She had tons of money in her purse. I crawl in, I slip out the $20 bill. This meant we could finally beat Double Dragon. Because we all know two or five dollars from cans is not going to cut it. You need a $20 bill if you and your friend were going to beat it. And sure enough, we did beat the game on that $20. And two or three days later, my mom confronted me on stealing the money. And she, she accused me of taking five dollars out of her purse. And uh, of course, I confessed to that. So the moral of the story is, if you want to beat Double Dragon, you got to steal. Thanks, Phil. Thanks, Dan. I love that story. It's totally funny. Be sure to check out Dan's YouTube show called Rebel Gaming Club at the link below. Dan and his crew have a bunch of awesome videos of their band, game-related content, and a weekly game pickup series called Worst Game Pickups that, if you're not a collector, is still totally entertaining. And also, thanks for joining us as we talk about one of the arcade greats, Double Dragon. Be sure to head down to Twincade or your local arcade today and get in line to play the beat-em-up that started it all. And I'll see you next time on From the Floor. Thanks.